Alrighty, we are in Washington, and what can we get for $1 million? I'm super excited for this one. This is my home state. Um, we have the search criteria set to 5,000 square feet or above, which is why we only have four listings up here. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So we got one here in Moses Lake, which is going to be the one that's further east. It's kind of cool actually knowing which city is where without having to look at it. So <laughs> just a little little fun bonus all right um it's funny washington like the east side is just desert and then the west side is just a jungle so you're gonna get these of course green grass but it's just open not a whole lot of trees and just watch when we go over to the other ones but anyways um fully fenced i mean that's gotta be like two to three acres just fenced that's so beautiful nice interior you got your uh your sitting room up on the left Oh, here we go. Yes, yes. Internet, internet. Um, it's upstairs. Oh, nice. I like that. That, not so much. That's such a long vanity with only one, um, sorry, that was an email that just came in. Sink. Isn't that? Look at that. I would double pump that. Anyways, this looks like it might be upstairs. Um, maybe a bedroom? I don't know. Don't change in it. Oh, I guess just the cows are going to be looking at you. <laughs> it's like a huge green field. Um, yeah, how many bathrooms is this? We've seen like three so far. Okay, here's the kitchen. Looks like we have an island here, a center island here with your sink, double sink, um, and then wraparound bar. Okay, the stove's on that island. Oh, well, hello. You know what, when I say we don't edit it, we really don't. I think I know exactly what happened to. Don't mind me. Figure it out, figure it out. <laughs> okay, perfect. Alrighty. I have it hooked up to the uh, gimbal thing and now I feel like it might be too high. Um, and it just, if it's over too far, it just gets weak, gives up, and drops. And that's, I'm not going to say the brand. I'm not going to call them out. Um, it's fine. So that, so this must be the master. It's DJI. Um, kitchen. Oh, pool table. Wait, was that a kitchen? Downstairs? That's beautiful. I think that's an eight-foot pool table. I can't tell. Mine's nine, and it's, they're, they're huge. I, I, whoa. That's just a. That's just bar. That is nice. Moses Lake, okay. It's so hard, like I'll see a really nice house and it's like, ooh, I wanna move there, I wanna retire there. And then it's like, well, retire, yes. But move there now, no. Cause being a realtor, I need to be where the market is hot and there's just not a whole lot for sale. I'm surprised, well, it's because I have it set, Never mind. I have it set to 5,000 square feet and above. Um, we don't have to look at all. Let's just, yeah, let's get rid of the criteria. Kind of show you what I'm saying. Cause Seattle just blows up with listings. Why? Because here we go. All right. Wait, did I not click apply? No, it's just loading. Um, because well, yeah, yeah, there's literally no listings in Seattle that are above 5,000 square feet, which is kind of insane. But anyways, so we have these other three here. This one is Graham, four bed, six bath, 5,800 square feet. This one, yeah, 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 we get it. Apply. Thank you. Um, three bed, four bath. This looks like a, this has got to be a multifamily. I don't know. Um, and then the one down. Oh, here we go. 5,700 square feet, five bed, five bath. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Zillow has just been throwing little tissy fits lately. So, but anyways, we'll start with Seattle. Um, if it ever wants to look at that, it's just laggy. And I, I, I promise it's not my Wi-Fi. Okay, uh, here's a town, uh, new construction. I don't really wanna do that. So this is just north of Seattle. So, yeah, 37 square feet. See, this is the funny part. I almost bought a house in Seattle 
they had it up for 1.2 not we'll start looking they had it up for 1.2 and it was just was not this nice and, and i can't say that yet because i'm um it wasn't this large either it didn't have the it had a thousand square feet less and i offered i offered him like 980 and they got very angry but <laughs> that is that's the business so I don't like how it's not staged. Typically for a house, it's, you know, around that price range. You definitely want to get it staged. I think it's three stories. Two and then the basement. But, yeah. So that's Seattle. Like, that's that's a good price, actually. Um, which I can actually say being a realtor around here. The other ones, I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the market's like over there. Um, oh, I thought that was Bainbridge Island. Wow. I'm surprised. Bainbridge Island is like always really really pricey listings so let's kind of do one in Kitsap County that's Bremerton it's on the water might as well Bremerton's not super oh literally thought that was water well you're gonna have a water view and it has a cool castle look so what the heck what the heck so we got a three car carport under this patio that kind of goes out that's actually kind of cool i love those houses that just have decades and decades of of landscape and i'm sorry i've been sitting over here on the side but it's not like you're looking at me anyways um you know oh wow they have the, the lock box right there <laughs> that's funny um and the and the photographer assuming assumingly took it so he can't really take that off um but beautiful home wallpaper yeah i love the ceiling attention to detail love that gas burner Ooh, oh my gosh that staircase back there oh my gosh i love these it's like they still have the tags on them i think i don't know um is that it is that the i think that's the dishwasher anyways there's the sink i don't I think it is. It's it it's got to be an oven. It has to be. That's where the oven would be. It's just normally ovens have as we know. Oh no no no! The oven was on the island, of course below the the gas range. So that is the dishwasher. That's kind of hard to I feel like do your unload. But anyways, look at that. It's just small and it goes up to a random room. It looks like which is kind of cool, um, weird, but it's. It's a cool staircase. Anyways, beautiful views. Look at the couch set up right there. Uh, looks like, I don't know if that's a TV or if that's a picture. I think it's a picture. And then just a little sitting area. I mean, you could make it, yeah, desk right there. Um, drinks, coffee, whatever. Room. I think that was the upstairs room, actually. Let's take a look. Yep, yep, there's the staircase. So just a little room upstairs. Um, I don't think that's, no, because the other one was hard floor. So there's a room, beautiful views. This might be the master. Yes. Oh, I love that shower. So you got two and it's just super long. I love showers where you don't need a curtain. It's just, you walk in, you walk out. Um, it's just so open. You can lay down flat and just assuming that the floor is nice and clean. Uh, Walk-in closet into the attic. Um, this is great. I don't even, where are we? Okay, we're in Bremerton. I was gonna say for a million dollars, this is, this is nice. Well, I actually, I like those two. Those are like copper sink, copper uh, faucets. I've got the outdoor patio. Look at that wallpaper. Holy crap. And it's slowly revealing to us. Wow. It's kind of intense. Wallpaper's everywhere. It's kind of attacking. These are kind of cool. I don't take enough bath. I actually, I feel like I haven't taken a bath in such a long time. Shower. I do shower. Don't worry um and here's the attic storage looks like i mean it could be whatever you want but it's always kind of cool to see what they utilize it for oh that's kind of cool so i'm kind of confused because this looks like a step up into a bathtub but it's definitely a nook um for eating get some couches in there of course we got our bar this is a very bar vibe i mean with the floor and the ceilings like this actually feels like a bar you know you get those home bars it's like okay you got your your carpet, your little TV and couch. Maybe just because the 
table. Like, that's so uncomfortable. Oh, Monopoly, old school. That's so cool. It's, it's so, what is it? Like, staging can help you get, a, a, what, 15% more on your, uh, what, is that glass? That is insane. Three more photos here. Here's the garage. Forget, oh yeah, Bremerton. I did that twice now. I literally, <laughs> this is so cool. Um, we'll do condos in a little bit. Uh, my Washington videos, I take a little bit more time on just because I'm licensed there. And after I do like a ton of states, okay, let's see Leavenworth. Because the thing is, is I know the cities. I know where people want to be. And so I can click on that. Whereas other random states, it's like, I'll just do the big cities and that's all I'll do. But anyways, Leavenworth, a million dollars, the only listing here. And if you're watching this video and you know Washington, then you know that Leavenworth is one of the, like, you could be like, hey, you ever heard of Seattle? It's like, yeah. Ever heard of Spokane? No. Leavenworth? They, everyone knows it. It's just a, it's a travel tourist city. It's beautiful. It's built after, it's like a German architecture theme. Um, it's awesome. But anyways, um, yeah, large house. I didn't see the square footage, but um, not super crazy updated or anything, but um, looks pretty large. So, yeah. Beautiful. Is that a willow? I don't know my trees, apparently. Okay, so that's Leavenworth. Let's see if there's anything in Lake Chelan. I don't think so. Oh, that was, Le wait. Okay, Lake Chelan's right there. No. Um, we could do a couple more in Seattle. I do want to check out the Spokane area. And scroll through here. Of course, you're going to get a lot. So that one's actually in Spokane. Oh, so that's this one right here. Um, that's okay. I kind of want to do this one. This one looks like it's got some nice landscaping, 20 acres. And looks like it's a three-story log cabin. So absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty, let's start. Yep, yep, yep. I just want to see the front views. Okay. It's gorgeous. It's like a good summer vacation. Well, I mean, 20 acres. Like, what are you going to do with that? All right. There's the window, <laughs> sunbeam. Um, lots and lots and lots of wood. I think that would look really good with, like, white. But then you get rid of those black marks and... Sometimes it's just best to keep it as it is. What the heck? Oh, that's a block off from the kitchen? Oh my gosh, rip that wall out. Gross. Okay, now this is... Okay, so yeah, that wall's fine, separating bedrooms and whatnot. But yeah, come on, right there, chop, chop. Like, come on, what is the point of that? Oh, I'm sure it has like, well, let's let's get to the kitchen, dining room. Okay, there's that side of the kitchen. I kind of I kind of like that. I would stain it. It looks like stuff would just seep into there, but nice, nice. Nice little TV there. You you wouldn't need that TV if 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 Dude, where's the other side of the kitchen? They did not show it. There it must just be a wall. What I was thinking was that there's there's cabinetry and 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 countertop there. But I mean, hey, Boom, 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 boom. You could put more here. You could put, you know, there's plenty of room. I'm sure they're not going to show it, but yeah, I was going to say, you don't need that little TV if you rip that wall out and you can use the big 80-inch TV in the living room. I think this is the master. Those are hard to put in. I forget what they're called. So precise and attention to detail. So this is nice. So this is Spokane and you know, it's 20 acres. It's it's a beautiful home. You got your little cabin out there. What? Oh, a nice big shop. Hopefully that stays. Um, oil, gas, fill up your rigs, quads, tractors, uh, whatever. Got your boat. This is living. This is living. My dad needs to move here. He breeds dogs in Washington, and this would be awesome. Of course, see, here's the thing. He would have this one, and there would be, like, crap ton of garages. He's always building new buildings for dogs and whatnot, but, yeah. Yeah, comment below if you're interested. He does uh, all colors of labs. 
So, wow, that does not look like 20 acres. Let's see the house. If you want, oh, okay, yeah, I can see it. Looks small for a second. Okay, let's get out of Spokane. Let's go back to Seattle. Tell you what, right after we do pretty much Portland, AKA Vancouver. Oh, whoops. It's a brand new, brand spanking new home. Look at that. Um, 2022, 2022. It is 2023 now, but it's been for like three days, four days. All right, this one looks nice. Ton of garage space. Don't know if you need it, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but we're looking at it. And then we're gonna go to Seattle. So, there's a front entry, it's your staircase, hallways up there, uh, living room. Okay, I forget, did, was this like, did it say 2,500 square feet? I feel like it did. It doesn't look that big. Undermount sink, commercial looking faucet. I love those. Excuse me. Don't like that wallpaper. I do not. It's like a wood, like a vinyl back splash. Well, not a fan. That is a super cool gazebo though. Look at that. That's nice. Room for a hot tub and a barbecue and furniture probably. Nice, there's the three car garage. They got their little lanes in there. Stay in your lane. All right, that's huge. That is huge. Nice, nice. I envy people that have big garages. <laughs> and we haven't even done these ones either. I mean, why do you need, oh, that's just too much. You could have more house, you know? Like, like you could have a room, you could have a room and a master bath all right there than other stuff. Take a spot. All right, there's their hot tub. Oh, these are, I think these are the ones that are 110 volt. I have a 110 volt, but it's one of those blow up ones. And it's nice, it does the job, but it doesn't have these jets and it's just, it's not a hard tub. And yeah, I do kind of, but they're like four grand. My Mine was like 500 bucks and it gets to it. It gets over a hundred degrees. Like it, it heats, you know, it takes like two days, but yeah. <laughs> okay, Seattle now. Seattle time. Let me do Ocean Shores after this, Bellingham. Yeah, so let's focus, or we do Bellevue. Bellevue is very sought after, the Kirkland area. See, this is, this is, Bellevue is like the rich part of Seattle. So here's what's gonna be crazy to you guys. This is a million dollars in Bellevue. And no, I do not agree with the price. I have toured houses around the area. Of course, I don't know which neighborhood it's in. And you do get actually quite a bit of property, but I don't know. And is that for sale by owner? No, no, it's listed by an agent. Wait, did it say 10 minutes ago? When was this listed? 82 days ago. And nothing. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, let's do, we could do like Lake Stevens area. So that's a uh, five bed, four bath, Lake Stevens. What should we do? Should we do way north up near Canada? Bellingham area, we could do Bellingham. All right, we got three homes here. We got 2,800, looks, looks like a little, I know they're not condos, but they're very interesting. Let's do this one. This looks like a cute, nice little home. Built in 1999 when I was born, $150 annual HOA fee and 0.34 acres. All right, beautiful landscaping. I love the, uh, Flagstone halfway up. That's cool. I do want to do some flagstone on my house before I sell. All right. Beautiful. And it's only 2,800 square feet, but super high ceilings. I feel like it's, it's, um, the space is going to be used well. So I'm excited. That TV looks super long, but not tall. Is that just me? I don't know. Is that a mirror or is there something on the other side? I don't know. Well, down there, but cool kitchen. Oh, nice. Opened up to the living room. Love the open concept. Living rooms, they're super cool. It's just really the only way to go. Mine, I should just knock out some walls. Just knock out that whole wall, literally. Anyways, okay, focus. Nice, master, okay. Got your tub, jet tub, meh, shower. 
Yeah. It's an okay master. Nice little family room. It looks like maybe upstairs. I'm sure. Nice little in in ground uh or in the deck fire pit looks like. Oh wait. Did that you got you gotta tell me that looks like it was <laughs> in the ground and it is not. But um nice little floating deck up here and yeah, no, that's awesome. I'm sure it gets really nasty with all the trees above it. Mine does as well. I'm around a bunch of trees. But I am in I'm in the PNW, not over on the east side. So that's awesome. Okay, well, this video has probably gone on too long. I think that we've looked at enough houses. That's a lie. We have to do ocean shores. Long Beach, let's do Long Beach. Last one, we're gonna finish it up strong with a ocean park home. Views, maybe, of the ocean, slightly. Built in 2020, but tell you what, let's let's do this one, just, just to see. I just wanna see which one's gonna have better views. I like the other one, I like the other one. All right, and we can even scroll down. Oh, that's Oregon. Anything up here? No? All right, ocean park it is. <laughs> here we go, built in 2020. It's crazy, super new, nice, uh, nice new asphalt. Got a little parking here if you want. Um, yeah, here we go. That is the grass you're gonna be getting when you're that close to the ocean. Look at that, they got the little trail out there. I do wanna see the lot lines. Like, do they have actual waterfront? I don't, I don't think they have private waterfront, but you never know. It might just be long, 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 skinny, skinny, skinny lots. But yeah, no, you have views of the ocean for sure. You're not like right on it, it's kind of a ways away, but I'm sure in person it's a lot uh, closer feeling, so. The eyes have a wider range than a camera does. All right. It's nice though. I mean, a million dollars, beautiful vacation home. That is a massive pantry. Like why? That's a bedroom. That's a Harry Potter room. That's a master suite Harry Potter room. There's the nice deck out there. I like this house. Yeah, it's, yeah, three stories. Um, Looks like, yeah, they, they cut that. That would be grass, but yeah, they um, I don't know if you could, I'm sure you could plant grass there. Yeah, some people have grass, I don't know how well it would grow. I don't see a whole lot of like nice fresh, you do turf, um, but of course you're gonna get tons of rain. Um, one more pick, boom. All right, well, hey, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next date.